Grok 1.5 is a new AI tool that's making a big impact. It can perform many tasks, it can analyze documents, it can interpret scientific images like diagrams and charts, and it can understand the physical world around it. This tool is getting a lot of attention because it's performing these tasks very well comparing to competitors GPT-4, Cloud3 Sonnet, Cloud3 Opus, and Gemini Pro 1.5. Now in a specific test of real-world QI benchmark, which measures how well AIs understand real-world spaces, Grok 1.5 has performed better than its competitors. It's even showing potential to compete with top technologies like Sora from the XAI team. Now what's impressive about Grok is that it can achieve these results without needing any special prompts, which shows its advanced AI capabilities. Now unlike other leading AI models like GPT-4V, Claude3 Sonnet, and others, which are not openly available yet, Grok is open source, and this means that anyone can access it and use it in comparison. But Grok has proven itself strong, especially in areas requiring logical thinking, like mathematics, where it scored 52.8%. Grok also does well in understanding complex AI diagrams, scoring 88.3% in AI 2D tests, just slightly less than Claude 3 Sonnet's 88.7%. Now it also excels in reading texts from images and understanding charts, nearly matching or even surpassing other models like Gemini's Pro 1.5 in these areas. Now, we'll focus on seven different situations where Grok AI is really useful. To start, we'll talk about how it can take a handwritten diagram from a whiteboard and turn it into Python code. For instance, imagine a diagram drawn on a whiteboard that shows the steps for a simple number guessing game. The diagram shows how the game works step by step, and so this is where it can convert it directly into code. Continuing with our example, the workflow on the whiteboard begins when the program picks a random number. Next, it asks the user to guess the number. And if the user's guess is correct, meaning it matches the random number, then the program will display a message confirming the win. If the guess is wrong, the program will encourage the user to try again. Now, Grok AI takes this flowchart drawn completely by hand and creates a Python script that follows the same steps, and the resulting code is clean and it's efficient, performing exactly as is shown on the whiteboard. The ability to turn a simple diagram like this into functional code highlights Grok's AI's impressive abilities in recognizing images and generating code. It's a valuable tool, not just for developers, but for anybody interested in making technology work for them. Now, look at our second example, where Grok 1.5v excels in combining visual recognition with numerical analysis. This involves calculating calories from the nutritional label on a snack box. So imagine you take a photo of the nutritional facts label on the snack box. The label shows one serving, which equals three slices containing 60 calories. The task now is to figure out how many calories are in five slices. Rock 1.5 processes the photo, recognizes the text, and calculates the answer right away. Since three slices have 60 calories, one slice has 20 calories, and therefore five slices would add up to 100 calories. This example shows how Grok can blend processing visual data with mathematical reasoning. This capability continues the excitement that begins with the introduction of AI models like GPT-4, which could see and understand images. Now, Grok 1.5v advances this capability further, enhancing its capabilities to interact dynamically with the visual world. Now, for our third example, we'll see how Grok 1.5v can dive into the creative world of storytelling using visual cues. Imagine a child has drawn a simple picture, a person standing on a rock with a boat floating nearby in the water. Now, despite the drawing's simplicity and rough style, Grok 1.5v can take this image and create a captivating bedtime story with it. Grok 1.5v analyzes the drawing and starts to craft a story based on the elements it sees. This capability is impressive because it demonstrates the AI's ability to interpret artistic expressions, no matter how simple or abstract, and it can turn it into a detailed and engaging narrative. This feature not only offers entertainment, but also has educational potentials. It can help simulate creativity in children or assist in teaching them how to create stories. Grok 1.5v's ability to transform simple images into elaborate tales showcases its innovative applications. Now moving forward, let's explore how Grok 1.5 interprets and explains humor. This meme shows two scenes side by side. On the left, labeled startups, a group of people is energetically digging a deep hole, with everybody actively participating. Now on the right, labeled big companies, many people stand around a hole, 
but only one person is digging while the others look or seem distracted. A user confused by the meme might ask for an explanation. Grok 1.5v would explain that the meme uses exaggeration to highlight the differences in workplace culture between startups and large corporations. In startups, there's a sense of urgency and teamwork with everyone contributing to the goals. Now in contrast, large corporations are often depicted as having lots of bureaucracy, resulting in many overseers and a few actual workers. Grok 1.5v points out that the humor comes from the exaggerated portrayal of each environment's dynamics, offering a playful critique on the stereotypes typically associated with different organizational styles. Now in this example, we'll see how Grok 1.5 can turn a visual representation of table data like a screenshot back into a structured CSV or Google Sheets or Excel format, which is crucial for efficient data management. Imagine you have an Excel spreadsheet, but all you have is the screenshot of this table. Normally, converting this image back to text-based format by hand would be slow and prone to error. However, with Grok 1.5v, you can simply upload the image of the table, and the AI takes care of the rest. Grok 1.5v uses advanced OCR, or optical character recognition, to scan the image recognize the characters, and decipher the layout of the table flawlessly. And by automating the conversion, Grok 1.5 provides a straightforward solution that can save time and scan and absorb a massive amount of data. Now continuing with Grok's capabilities, let's see how it helps with a common household problem, identifying and advising on rotten wood on a deck. Imagine a homeowner uploads a photo of their deck, showing signs of wood discoloration and holes around screws, classic symptoms of wood rot. When Grok analyzes the image, it uses its advanced algorithms to spot signs of decay directly on the wood. By combining the visual information and the pre-programmed knowledge of how wood rot behaves and processes, Grok 1.5 can act as a house inspector, and it can give suggestions on whether the deck would need replacing. Now, in our final example, we explore how Grok 1.5 tackles coding challenges, which are common in programming tutorials. Consider a typical coding task, which is finding all triplets in an integer array that sums up a specific number. The problem tests a programmer's ability to use complex logic involving arrays and algorithms like hashing or sorting. Grok 1.5v starts by using OCR to extract the text, and then it can accurately analyze it and then generate the Python code afterwards. This capability showcases Grok 1.5v's proficiency not only in recognizing and interpreting text, but also in applying its understanding to solve complex programming challenges. The real-world QA benchmark is a new development that significantly improves how AI understands our physical world. Now, this benchmark tests AI systems on their ability to recognize and interact with real-world scenarios, which is crucial for technologies like self-driving cars and augmented reality. Grok 1.5 is a great example of what modern AI can do, from understanding human language to interpreting real-world data. If you're interested in the future of AI and want to keep up, please remember to like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Let's explore AI together. Thanks for watching.